We are joined by a good-looking group of kids. I'm telling you what. And I'm going to let them introduce themselves really quick, and then we'll talk about why they're here. Let's start with you. Step up to Come the up microphone. Come to the microphone. What is your name? Cade Snell. And Cade, what grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade. What school do you go to? Wicksburg. All right. Now you step up. What is your name? Thomas Harris. And what school do you go to? Wicksburg High School. Wicks- what grade are you in? Six. Okay. And you? My name is Bradley Probert. Okay. What grade are you in? I'm in 10th grade. And what school do you go to? Wicksburg. I have a feeling Wicksburg is going to be the answer. What do you think? (laughs) Considering all the kids are from Wicksburg. Up next? Uh, Macy Morris. Okay, what grade are you in? Eight. All right, and what school do you go to? Wicksburg. (laughs) How did I know Wicksburg's the answer? Can we just assume everybody's Wicksburg? What's your your name, partner? What is your name? My name is Dr. Snell. Okay, and what grade are you in? Seventh grade. Are we we assuming Wicksburg? Yes. There you go. There we go. We've also got Megan Yarborough in the studio with us, and they are here. They're part of the robotics team. Yes. Now, let me tell you something. That is a team that I would never have been on in school because I have no science, no engineering, no mechanical, anything of those abilities. I have none of those abilities. So uh, I'm very impressed that you all build a robot. And that's exactly what you do, right? Who wants to answer the questions? Somebody step up. Well, I have one representative here to answer the questions. There we go. All right. Macy's going to answer the questions. Okay. So you have a big competition where you're competing against other schools, right? Yes, ma'am. Now, when does this competition take place? It is uh, October 27th. And that happens at the Dothan Civic Center, yes, right? Ma'am. And it's free to the public? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so when people come to watch this, they're going to get to check out all of the robots that the different schools have built, and they're going to get to see them in action and see what they can do and all of that kind of stuff, right? You'll also see the exhibit that we build to represent our robot, like the time we spend on it, and uh, the engineering notes. Now, how long does it take you to build this robot from start to finish? Six weeks. Six weeks. Now, do you have to work after school? and on weekends and all that kind of thing all around so y'all have to be dedicated to this so y'all are probably smarter than me yes we're just gonna (laughs) very clearly listen you don't have to throw that out there i was directing that question to the kids are you you smarter than mel yes go ahead no i'm not oh that's very sweet okay but this sunday you've got something else going on at wiregrass commons mall as well um all day it's just a chance for people to come to the mall and they're going to get to see the robots that kids have built uh yes ma'am uh it's well, this has a certain time, and each school will have a certain amount of time on the field, and you'll get a cracked robot and show and try to uh, get people to come out on uh, Saturday. Okay, so how much do you still have to do to finish your robot? Um, well, well we're still working up the working on the arm. The Wait, arm. Yes, um, we we've, we've got up the uh, space elevator.